بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلبة الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا الجزء الخامس من المحور الرابع لمادة نظرية الآلات Theory of Machines We'll uh, continue here with calculation of acceleration in the slider crank mechanism Steps to draw the acceleration diagram are the following We will start by the first step we have to draw the vector O dash B dash parallel to B O. O dash B dash should be parallel to B O. Okay. And set of equal ma in magnitude to A R B O. So the magnitude is equal to A R B O. Found from this formula and drawn in some suitable scale. Second step from the point B dash draw the vector B dash X which is parallel to B A. B dash X this is B dash X here from B dash draw B dash X Okay, which is parallel to BA. The vector B dash X represents the radial component of the acceleration of A with respect to B, whose magnitude is given by this formula ARAB is equal to the velocity of AB square divided by BA. Then we have to set off here the magnitude ARB. A, which is known. Note, since the point P moves with constant angular velocity, therefore there will be no tangential component of the acceleration. No A tangential for uh, the point B. Third step from point X here, draw the vector X A dash perpendicular to B dash X it will be automatically perpendicular to AB. Here it is perpendicular to B dash X. The vector X A dash represent the tangential component of the acceleration of A with respect to B. The ATAB. Here we have the ATAB. As a note, when a point moves along a straight line, translation for example, it has no centripetal, no radial component of the acceleration. The step number four, since the point A reciprocate along AO, therefore with reciprocating motion, therefore from O dash here, draw the parallel to AO, it will be horizontal, okay, here, and intersecting with XA dash in a dash here. Now we find A dash and then we can measure at the scale A T A B and A A. Now the acceleration of the piston or the slider A. Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salam 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 we have to draw the vector O dash B dash parallel to B O. O dash B dash should be parallel to B O. Okay. And set of equal ma in magnitude to A R B O. So the magnitude is equal to A R B O. Found from this formula and drawn in some suitable scale. Second step from the point B dash draw the vector B dash X which is parallel to B A. B dash X this is B 
b dash x here from b dash draw b dash x okay which is parallel to b a the vector b dash x represent the radial component of the acceleration of a with respect to b whose magnitude is given by this formula a r a b is equal to the velocity of a b square divided by b a then we have to set off here the magnitude a r b a which is known note since the point p moves with constant angular velocity therefore there will be no tangential component of the acceleration no a tangential for uh, the point b okay third step from point x here draw the vector x a dash perpendicular to b dash x it will be automatically perpendicular to a b here it is perpendicular to b dash x the vector x a dash represent the tangential component of the acceleration of a with respect to b the a t a b here we have the a t a b okay as a note when a point moves along a straight line translation for example it has no centripetal no radial component of the acceleration the acceleration will be uh, linear will the acceleration will be linear uh, or uh, call it uh, linear acceleration the step number four since the point a reciprocate along a o therefore the acceleration must be parallel to the velocity so the velocity of a is in this case horizontal okay with reciprocating motion therefore from O dash here draw the parallel to a O it will be horizontal okay here and intersecting with X a dash in a dash here now we find a dash and then we can measure at the scale a t a b and a a now the acceleration of the piston or the slider a a a and a t a b may be measured to the scale 